Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and it's time for their November 2024 release hop. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's new gingerbread brewed outline dies and stamp set. The new Gnome Friends gingerbread die are octagon dies, Christmas add-ons and two and the Octo octagon treat box die. Oh, and there's that gingerbread brew stamp set that's new. I did put that Oh, and I used the Gnome Dyes Baking Add-ons. I did put together that little gingerbread girl on the assembly video, so check that out. I'm using Gingerbread Kisses 6-inch pad along with Doodlebugs Dot Stripe and their Gingerbread Kisses Odds and Ends. I did use the 12-inch paper line as well from that um, Gingerbread Kisses Lot, paper line from Doodlebug. So first I'm starting out with an A2 size card base made of paper tray and white cardstock 4.25 by 11 scored at five and a half inches and I'm adding a one inch strip of paper to the bottom of the inside of the card um, about a quarter of an inch from the bottom working on a stampin up pad. I always use that to kind of gauge where to put those pieces of paper. Now I'm going to add a piece of ephemera from that um, odds and ends gingerbread kisses set from Doodlebug to the lower right, kind of like I, I normally do, right? I'm going to add a few other pieces here with some, of, with some uh, Barely Art glue and my reverse tweezers. Just for fun. I don't write a story in my Christmas cards, you know, uh, when I send them out. So there's plenty of room for decoration. And I'm taking my Secure White Jelly Roll pen in a number 10 and adding some highlights, you know, of course freckles, because of course a gingerbread man would have freckles, you know, and a few little highlights on the candies and things like that. I find that it just makes things pop a little bit more. There we go. Now I'm doing all the normal things that I do. I use my Anna Griffin Empress machine and working on a Stampin' Up! pad and, you know, all the things. So there we go. Now I'm going to stamp a sentiment from the Gingerbread Wishes stamp set. I'm not sure if I showed you that, but I'm using the Gingerbread Wishes stamp set. And I'm stamping it in VersaFine Claire Nocturne Ink. So it says, have a tasty holiday. So I went ahead and I cut out paper from the 12-inch paper line from Doodlebug um, with our Octagon treat box die, the, the top, like the top layer of it. And I cut it out of paper drink white cardstock, and I'm going to stick them together with some ATG tape. I'm doing this because I want this to be sturdy. This is going to be a shaker element on my card. I'm making like a flat shaker. There we are. So I have this little, little piece. This is from the um, Octagon add-ons, uh, Octagon bo treat box Christmas add-ons too. And I cut it out of Paper Trank white cardstock and Simon Says Stamp white glitter cardstock. And I'm just layering them together. I wanted it to have a little bit of presence, so that's why I layered it up. And I will weight it down. And then I, this is also from that same set. So I cut it out of Paper Trank white cardstock and then um, Doodlebug's Candy Stripe and Sprinkles, I believe. Okay, so next I'm going to be using score tape. I'm going to add it to the back all around the edge. And this is to hold the acetate in place for my flat shaker. So I'm running this all around. I've made flat shaker cards in the past. Usually I do the whole front of the card, but this time I'm just going to do this octagon shape. It works fine as long as you've got like a square edge, right? You know, you're, you're, you're in business. Now I'm taking a piece of pack packaging. This is just acetate left over from packaging from something. I keep it and I'm going to use it on my card front. So I'm just pulling off all of those little tabs, but I'm leaving the top ones on. I'm just going to trim it down to size a bit. And now I'm just going to quickly fold in all the edges, keeping it nice and tight. So folding them in and then I pull them up and fold them in all around the uh, border of that octagon. And then what I do is I will cut off the little peaks, you know, at the little corners. I'm just kind of cut those flat so it lays flat. 
and there we go. So it's a pretty easy situation. So I'm taking these, these are little white seed beads. I'm going to add some of those just because I like the sound that they make. I believe those were from close to my heart. And then I have, like, I really don't know where these little Christmas assortment of clay sprinkles came from. I think they were a little gift, but you know, I'm not sure. But I'm adding some Christmas clay sprinkles. These are like, look like little gingerbread sprinkles and candies. And then these ones are the same thing, like, you know, little candies. So I'm adding them in. Just add whatever you want in there to, you know, it'd be cute to, you know, add a little bit of uh, shaker mix, whatever you want. Sequins works as well. Now I'm going to pull off the remainder pieces of that score tape. And then I will pull in that acetate like I did on the other edges. So you're pulling them in, pulling it in, and then you want to cut off any extra. And then you want to trim off those peaks and make sure everything's stuck down well. And there you go, you got a flat shaker piece. So now I'm going to stick down this little icing embellishment on top of the plastic. So I'm using glossy accents. Not too much, you don't want it to ooze all over the place. I'm just going to stick it down on the front and then I will weight it down with an acrylic block and let it dry. So now I'm going to put together my card. So this is a piece of paper from that 12 inch uh, Gingerbread Kisses paper line from Doodlebug. And it's just the horizontal or the diagonal stripe. Adding that with ATG tape. And I'm going to stick it down. Um, this is, like I said, cut 1 8 of an inch smaller than an A2 size card front. There we go. And I have my little gingerbread girl, and she's going to be holding this little Christmas cookie. That is from the um, Gnome Dyes baking add-ons. I'm just going to glue that down. Isn't that cute? And I will clamp it down with my reverse tweezers. It's a nice thing about reverse tweezers, right? Okay, so I'm going to add my little shaker element to my card front. I'm figuring out where everything's going to go. And I just think this is the cutest little thing. Just trying to make sure everything is where I want it to be. I'm going to stamp a sentiment um, for the front of the card using some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. I, I tended to use a lot of the same sentiments. I just thought they were so cute. This is the great thing about using a Misty. You can stamp it more than once. I cut it out with the outline die, and I'm going to use this Barely Art glue. That's giving me a problem there. And I will stick it to the front of my card. So wishing you a season filled with sweetness. I know I've used that quite a bit on this release because it's just a cute little sentiment and perfect with whatever you got going on. I'm going to add my shaker element to my card front using some ATG tape. And I'm just making sure it's well covered. I want it to stick really well. There we are. And I'm just making sure none of that ATG tape is sticking out past the border of it. And I'm going to add that to my card front, trying to get it, you know, centered as well as I can. And I'm going to add in, there we go, that's how it's gonna go. So I'm going to pop up my little gingerbread girl with some Stampin' Up Dimensionals. And then I'll pop up that little piece of mistletoe as well. Because this, the nice thing about those flat shakers are that it's flat, right? So you don't have to have, you know, like there's no um, dimension there. So, you know, if you'd stuck down your gingerbread girl flat, like you wouldn't have had a lot of dimension, but um, which, you know, saves on mailing, right? But I decide I'm going to add a little bit of dimension. So I'm going to pop up uh, that gingerbread girl as well as the little piece of mistletoe. Trying to decide and it's like, oh, that little piece of 
dimensional didn't work there. So now I'm pulling out sprinkles from Doodlebug. These are called, these are the Love Assortment. And I'm just adding three red ones to my mistletoe. And then I'll add some pink ones in the lower left and the upper right. You know, visual triangles and all that jazz, right? Odd numbers are your friend. And there we go. And how cute is that? Adorable, right? Thanks for stopping by, everybody. Get shopping.